Okay, it says draw a tape diagram to match each number sentence. Then complete the number sentence. All right, so let's start with A. Three plus one third. What do I need to draw first? Corbion? Tape diagram, yep. The three boxes, he says. I made mine kind of small, but that's all right. Okay, so I have my three represented. Do you agree? Yes. All right, so how do I know how to add that third on there? Maya? Um, well, I need to know how big to make my third. Because right now I have three holes. I should have I should have marked that. So I know that this is three, but I need to know how big a third is before I can add it on. So how can I figure out how big a third is? Corbian? Okay, so Corbian says I should take one of these boxes and show how big a third and show how big thirds are. Do you guys see that? So now I have three equal pieces. So now I can see how big a third is. And I can just add one onto the end. So that is one third. So three plus one third is what? Three and one third. All right, B, four plus three fourths. How can I show that one? With a tape diagram, because that's what my direction said. Jacob? All right, so I'm going to show my four pieces, right? And tell you and tell everyone that it is four. And then you split um, this one box into fours. And then you see how big a fourth is, and then you add a box. How many do I have to add? How many fours do I have to add this Three. time? Three of them. So this is three-fourths. So four plus three-fourths is four and three-fourths. Three you got it. All right, for C and D, it looks like we are switching over to subtraction. So remember, these ones are a little bit different, but same idea. Hey, Austin, can you set that aside for me right now? So how do I start this one off, Brendan? Like that? Okay. How do I show minus one fourth? Anyone have an idea? David? Split your last box in the fourth and then see there's one. Okay, so one, two, three, four. All right, so I split it into four, and now I'm just going to cross one of these off, right? So three minus one fourth is what? Maddie? Uh, two and three fourths. Two and three fourths. It's pretty easy to see from our picture, right? Yep. All right, D. How do I start that one off? Barbie on? All right. Um, one, two, three. <coughs> what? Oh, okay. So make sure that this is five. Great. All right, what do I do next to show take away two fifths? Jacob? You know, one of your boxes is split in your fifths. So one, two, okay. Then you take away two fifths. And that leaves me with what left? I have four holes, right? Great. All right, for number two, it says use the following three numbers to write two subtraction and two addition number sentences. All right, who can give me one for A, subtraction or addition? Josiah? Um, six and three, eight, three. Um, Equals what? Um, six. Perfect. Who has another one? Jacob? Um, Three-eighths plus six equals six and three-eighths. Who has another one? We have one subtraction, one addition. I need two of each. So 
think about everything you know about fact families. Noah, what do you know? Six plus three eighths equals seven three eighths. Yeah, just the opposite, right? Yeah. Great. Bye. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah. Abby, what's the last problem we have left? Great. You guys remember when you were little kids and you would do 1 plus 3 equals 4. So 3 plus 1 equals 4. Same idea, just instead of having those numbers, we have yeah. fractions. Yeah. Same thing. All right, go ahead and try to do B by yourself. If you get stuck, I'm going to be doing it on the board as you go, okay? So try to think of the two addition and two subtractions. They give you all the information you need. Give me a thumbs up when you are done if ours match. Awesome, I see lots of thumbs going up. Awesome. All right, you can put your thumbs down. If you're not done, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. I'll forgive you for that one, Max. You should have read my mind to know what I was doing first. Come on. All right. If you're not done, that's okay. We're going to keep moving on. Number three, solve using a number bond. Draw a number line to represent each number sentence. The first one has been done for you. All right, so they were doing four minus one third, and they said it equals three and two thirds. They said that four is the same as three and three thirds put together. Do you guys agree? So when they minus one third, that leaves them with the three still, but then they have two thirds left. I kind of like doing it that way better than the tape diagram. Yeah. Do you guys two? Yeah. yeah. So in number line, they just showed really simply how they did the subtraction. I have lots of voices going right now, so make sure you're with me, okay? All right, so for B, we have 5 minus 2 thirds. Let's go ahead and draw um, our number bond like they did here. So I'm just going to rewrite 5 minus 2 thirds here. And how can I break up my 5 to make it easy to subtract from? Jacob? Four and three-thirds. Do you guys agree? Four plus no. three-thirds equals five? Nope. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Because if we have four and three-thirds, three-thirds is the same as? A whole. A whole. So four plus one is? Five. Five. So four plus three-thirds is? Five. five. Yeah, it looks weird. It, it seems weird, but same thing. No, you have to do three-thirds because we are subtracting thirds. Yeah, that's where the thirds come from. All right, so four, um, three-thirds take away two-thirds is what? Four and one-third. Yep, our total would be four and one-third. All right, let's quickly draw on a number line. So see where they started? They started at three, so where should we start? We should start at four, yeah, and then have it go to five, and then we need to make break this up into what size pieces? Thirds. 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 So five take away two thirds brings us there, which is what? One third. 
four and one third. Don't forget we have to scooch our answer to the top line. Great. Let's flip the page. Um, those ones are the same thing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip um, skip those for right now. I'll have you do them later. Okay. Same idea. And when I have everyone back with me, we will keep moving on. All right, for number four, all it wants you to do is complete the subtraction sentences using number bonds. So just like what we were doing, but not having to do the number line. So, for example, for this one, how can I break this up into things that are easy to subtract from? Devin? Yep, how do you know to use tenths? Because they'll subtract, the number you're subtracting is tenths. Yep, so ten tenths take away one tenth is what? Nine tenths. And then what number do I have to bring over for my whole? Two. two. Could we check it if we wanted to? Could we do two and nine tenths plus one tenth? Yes. And what would that equal? Ten tenths. Two and ten tenths, which is the same as three. three. Great. All right, let's do um, D. Seven minus three ninths. How can I split this up so it's easy to subtract from? Jacob? Six and nine ninths. Six and nine ninths. All right. Nine ninths take away three ninths is? Six, six, six ninths. What, else, what do I have to bring up here? Six. Six. Ooh, let's do F. Look at that one. 29 minus 9 twelfths. How can I split that one up, Kaylee? 28 and 12 twelfths. 28 and 12 twelfths. All right, what do I do next? Addie, what do I do? Um, you do 12 twelfths minus 9 And what is that? That is um, 8 twelfths. All right, am I done? What do I have to bring over? 28. How come I don't bring 29 over? Because, because it has 12 12. Tyler, why don't I bring 29 over? Because you have to change 29 into 28 and 12 12. Yep, so I, I have to bring my 28, not my 29. Great job. Okay, here's what I need you to do, okay? You have 15 minutes and the rest is homework. Here's your job. You have a lot. Let me stop. You need to finish 21 homework, finish 22 problem set, and lesson 22 homework. If you chose this morning when we, when we did lesson 21 homework. If you chose to work hard, this should you should be able to finish this before class and just have lesson 22 for homework. Okay? If you didn't, you better get to work and work hard the next 15 minutes. All right, go ahead.